From News 19, I'm meteorologist Daniel Bonds. Here's some images from our WLTX weather watchers from yesterday. We had a good bit of sunshine, a few high thin clouds kind of moved across the Midlands yesterday. We do expect those clouds kind of build in today. It's going to be very warm later with highs probably upper 70s to near 80 degrees. Pretty good chance to rain early Friday and then we'll be cooler and dry on Saturday. Our holiday countdown continues 29 days until St. Patrick's Day, Easter 52 days away and you can see where Mother's Day and Memorial Day kind of fall in as we continue to move through the rest of your February. We do expect tree pollen to continue to kind of climb 8.5 today does get a little bit better tomorrow because of the rainfall and it may be a touch better on Saturday because of the cooler temperatures. But yesterday managed to hit 76 degrees well above our average of 61. Haven't had any rain since Sunday. We'll be adding on to these rain totals tomorrow and then we'll be dry it looks like on Saturday and even into Sunday. But so far we've only dropped down into the lower 50s across the Midlands. Only dropped down to 57 in Myrtle Beach and in Charleston. So a very warm start to your Thursday. Do expect clouds kind of stream in. It'll be a breezy day with those winds out of the southwest anywhere from 15 to 20 miles per hour, helping bring in that warmer air, but mostly cloudy skies today. As we look ahead towards tomorrow morning in particular, those rain chances do increase. That's three o'clock in the morning. And then as we get to the, we'll say sunrise or so, that rain continues to spread across the Midlands. Nine o'clock, you notice that rain continue to impact our area and then by noon or so you'll see the rain starts to end in the western half of the Midlands and then as we get to the early afternoon hours of Friday most of the rain will be out of our area probably see a little bit of sunshine before the day is done on Friday now Friday will be one of those odd days where the official high temperature will probably be reached early in the morning as we get to the afternoon hours those temperatures will be dropping as that cooler drier air filters in and once again tomorrow will be pretty breezy as well with winds anywhere from about 15 up to maybe 25 miles per hour possibly some stronger gusts then we'll enjoy a good bit of sunshine on Saturday here's the European forecast model showing the rain on Friday dry on Saturday now the European model tries to show some clouds and maybe a stray shower on Sunday right now we're keeping our forecast dry on Sunday but that's something we'll have to maybe pay attention to as far as those rainfall totals are concerned, tenth of an inch, maybe a touch higher in the northern half of the Midlands, but not expecting a whole lot of rainfall as the system kind of moves through the area. Highs today before the rain obviously moves in tomorrow, topping out in the upper 70s to near 80 degrees, well above our average this time of the year. And then lows tonight only dropping down into the mid to upper 50s to near 60 degrees. This is what we're looking at for the next seven days. Temperatures dropping through the day tomorrow. Highs will probably be in the middle 60s or so, but that'll be achieved early in the day. And then we will be cooler on Saturday. High temperatures in the mid 50s. We'll warm back up into the middle 60s by Sunday, low 70s. Monday, Tuesday, maybe even in mid 70s Tuesday. Back up to near 80 on Wednesday with that chance for rain continuing. And then looking ahead towards the last few days of February into the start of March, we're expecting warmer than normal conditions across a large portion of the country, including for us here in South Carolina.